Hi, I'm Dala, and today we're mounting the battery in the NX. Let's go! Okay, so we drilled out the original mounting bracket thingies from inside the battery but uh, we had a bit of a think and we're not maybe gonna use that. The idea is to simply mount the packs as they is so we don't have to do any uh, wiring loom modifications uh, especially the balance leads for the BMS because there's like hundreds of cables so we don't really want to touch that unless we really have to. But uh, we're gonna be thinking a bit more about the layout. Uh, it would be ideal to just have two sections instead of three. So what we might end up doing is stack these two side stacks on top of each other. But yeah, let's see what we figure out. Okay, so we removed most of the interior and uh, we started to remove the uh, sound deadening material so that we can properly fasten stuff. Uh, we found some rust here on this side that I'm gonna have to clean up and splash some paint on so it doesn't get worse. Uh, otherwise it went quite smoothly. Uh, I also have here a, a bottom piece of a stack so that I can like take some measurements and compare it how we want to do the layout. But um, yeah, I think we're, we're gonna be constructing some uh, tube chassis around it so that we have something that is level that we can mount it to. But yeah, I'll get on that. Okay, so I fixed all the rust here. I just grinded it down and splashed some paint on it. So now we can construct the frame. Okay, so here's the base for the battery mounting. And uh, yeah, let's get to welding. And after a few hours measuring up stuff and uh, working with the welder, we have this frame and uh, when I put this plate onto it, you will see how it all ties together. So it will look something like this with the first battery section mounted. And uh, we will utilize, I think, a total of um, 10 bolts and we will use all the, st the standard bolt holes that is used normally used for the seat belts. So we will drill some holes here and there will also be some ears down here coming down and yeah it will be really sturdy and <clears throat> we also have these front uh, sections coming down just need to trim the length of these a bit down still so a total of 10 bolts will be used and this will, yeah, hold it nicely together. Okay, so I will now reconfigure uh, these two front stacks to sit on top of each other. So the first step is to remove the bus bars going along. Because if you try to open uh, the bolts that hold the compression plates, in place the modules might expand a bit and that will crack all the terminals and that would be very bad so yeah first step is to remove all the terminals yay okay so this is what I'm going for I am about halfway done I just simply place this module on top to keep track of what goes where uh, because it's really easy to accidentally uh, switch the polarity if you like accidentally yeah flip them the wrong way so yeah but this is what the stack will look like once completed I just need to disconnect the bus bars on the other side and make a new uh, well install longer bolts for the compression plates and just as I was closing in on uh, getting some new rods I <coughs> discovered that I might be a bit tarded. Um, <laughs> so it turns out that uh, then these cells are not entirely symmetrical. 
uh, the back end has a longer spacing between the holes so my idea of flipping the stacks and just having them sit on top of each other does not work back to the drawing board okay so uh, new game plan after uh, getting the uh, wiring back together it took me an hour to reconnect everything I've uh, come to the conclusion that I'll just flip the stacks as they are on top of each other and um, I'll use this thick uh, rubber sheet it's very heavy duty so no worries about it melting if the cells reach 50 degrees uh, but yeah we'll use this in between the two stacks and then we'll build some uh, metal pieces that will join them together and keep everything nice and sturdy so yeah it was a shame that we couldn't just uh, stack them directly on top of each other that would have saved some weight so we could have deleted two compression plates but well well it is as it is let's continue okay I thought I'd talk a bit about the game plans for the rear so we created this mock-up battery uh, <laughs> using some wood so that we can see where the mounting points land and uh, we also started with making some really nice custom bracket bolt thingies that yeah we're gonna be utilizing to to mount the rear section of the battery but yeah, this is where we're at. There's gonna be a lot of bolts and fabrication to be done. So I'm not gonna film most of it because it will just be angle grinding and drilling and welding and etc. But let's cut to the final result. Okay, so that took some effort. Uh, now we have one that is permanently bolted to the chassis rails. Uh, with a lot of bolts and uh, I think the next step is to actually put one of the battery sections inside here so you can get a feel for how it's going to look so let's just do that okay so we got the crane going and now we're lifting in the rear stack and yeah it's looking quite good so we will now carefully lower this down and fasten it tightly Check this out. We have a rear stack in place. So it took quite the amount of hours to get to this point. I mean making these uh, rails that bolt into the like frame. It has yeah it has taken so much time. And uh, yeah but this is what it looks like. So the high voltage cabling will go down in this hole um, and uh, we have this second one is just resting in place it's a bit crooked it's not like it's supposed to be but we will mount the other pack on this one but I think I want to get this video out now so I will make a part two for the second one but yeah that's about it. So yeah, thanks for following along on this episode. And as always, massive thanks to all my Patreon supporters. This build wouldn't be possible without you. See you in the next one!